Are we good? Tuko sawa? Eh? Can you want to go sawa? Very good. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this um, afternoon's uh, brief. I, on behalf of the Kenya Kwanzaa Fraternity, I wish to welcome my good brother David Ocheng and the Movement for Democracy and Growth Party joining the Kenya Kwanzaa this morning. We have uh, already signed an agreement with the MDG party to join the Kenya Kwanzaa uh, fraternity in making sure that the agenda we have for the next five years, we are going to share in the delivery, in the management, and in the progress that we intend to make in taking our country uh, forward. I am very delighted to welcome the MDG party into the Kenya Kwanzaa family. We have been in consultation over the last few weeks, and this morning we concluded um, the agreement that now uh, makes MDG a part of the Kenya Kwanzaa fraternity. It is a historic moment because this is a party largely from uh, Nyanza, uh, the former Nyanza region, and we are looking forward to forging the necessary uh, partnership and building the necessary networks so that going into the future, we can mainstream the people of Nyanza, the people of that region, in working with the rest of Kenya in ensuring that we build politics that are devoid of ethnicity, of unnecessary conflict, and ensuring that we build on the current momentum where the people of Kenya have made a conscious, deliberate decision to get rid of the politics of ethnicity, division, hate, and things that put us um, or put divisions among us, the people of Kenya. I look forward in the coming days, months, and years to visiting every part of Kenya. We have already made a commitment that the government we are going to set up immediately after our processes of election are concluded will be a government that will leave no region and no section and no part of Kenya behind. We are going to make sure that we move as a country and for the very first time we build bridges and networks across Kenya so that we can carry the wholesomeness of the people of Kenya into the future together as people who belong to one nation. The people of Kenya have already made a decision to get rid of ethnic politics in this election. It is our belief that in the coming election, we will also have politics that are devoid of conflict and violence. We look forward to visiting Nyanza, campaigning in Nyanza, in all the four uh, counties of Nyanza, Unfortunately, in this election, we were not able to visit any of the four counties of Nyanza because of uh, matters conflict and matters violence. With the networks we are building with MDG and other political actors, and I want to thank uh, the leaders who are here, the former governor of Kisumu, uh, the Honorable Ranguma is here, the immediate former MP of uh, Kisumu Town uh, West, who is here, my good brother, the Honorable Olago Alwoch, and uh, the immediate former Senator of uh, Kisumu, uh, my good brother, uh, Fred Outa, 
and all the other leaders who are here. And I want to say that we are looking forward as Kenya Kwanzaa to building um, partnership with you and with other teams in uh, Nyanza in ensuring that our programs, our plans, the agenda that we have for the country is seamless across Kenya. And it is our commitment as Kenya Kwanzaa that we will work with all leaders, those who are present here, those who are not here now, to make sure that we move our country to the next level. In the same uh, vein, let me take this opportunity and ask uh, our competitors that we want to move the country to the next level. Please um, allow the judicial system in Kenya to make a determination of the issues that you have taken to court. There is no need, there is no reason why anybody would want to lecture the judiciary on what to do. The judiciary is an independent arm of government. Um, they have the capacity, they have what it takes to make a determination of the issues that have been taken before them. We want to say categorically that we are not building this country around personalities. We are building this country around institutions. And all of us, irrespective of who we are, irrespective of how much power we wield, we must respect institutions. We must build institutions. We are aware that um, our competitors destroyed the Kivuitu Commission. They destroyed the Hassan Commission. They now are on a mission to destroy the Chebukati Commission. We want to tell them it is not right and we will not allow them because for us to live in a secure, predictable, democratic society, we must build our institutions so that the rule of law overrides the rule of men. And I want to ask uh, all concerned and all of us in this space to give the IEBC its due mandate to do its job we give the judiciary the space and the opportunity to do their work so that we can begin the journey of building our country and moving Kenya into the future. Um, I thought it is necessary for me to say this and to welcome MDG uh, into the Kenya Kwanzaa family. You have my assurance and that of the Kenya Kwanzaa leadership, that you will be an equal member of this family. We're going to work with you, work with the leadership of MDG under my good brother David Ocheng, the party leader, and all the leaders who are here in uh, ensuring that we reach out to every corner of our republic and work with all Kenyans, because it is in working with all Kenyans that we have the best chance to succeed. And uh, let me say thank you very much to uh, all of us here who have come uh, so that we can uh, consummate this relationship and move Kenya to the next level. Asante Nisana. Maybe I will ask uh, my good friend uh, David Ocheng to say something before we, we, we finalize this ceremony. Thank you, so, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> thank you so much, Your Excellency, President-elect. <laughs> I must say that uh, we are very happy this afternoon to be here and I must tell you that I believe that MDG is the part of the jigsaw puzzle that has been missing in, in your matrix to govern the country <laughs> and, and, and that jigsaw puzzle has been found today and like you said it's going to be smooth sailing now going forward because we as MDG believe that most of the things that are in our manifesto, the things that we want to be done to make this country livable, to lower living standards for our people, I mean to make living in this country bearable for our people, to improve agriculture, to improve infrastructure, to ensure that education is as cheap as it can be, lie at the heart 
of the Kenya Kwanza Manifesto. So our coming here today is based purely on finding ourselves in the same policy direction, policy framework, and policy path. And we believe that as a party that is nascent, that is growing, we find umbrage and friendship in Kenya Kwanza because largely Kenya Kwanza stands for peace, stands for justice, but above all, stands for all of us growing together without leaving anybody behind. We can never, as a country, grow if even a single part of the country, even a single human being in our country is hungry, lacks, or is in want. And I'm impressed by the fact that you've promised us in our discussions that you're not going to leave anybody behind as you go out in implementing the Kenya Kwanza Manifesto. Number two, and also most importantly, is that as a country, this need to nurture leaders. As we grow the country, we must move from independence through post-independence into the future. And that future can only be there if there's room for nurturing young leaders going forward. I believe that working with you as a party, working with Kenya Kwanza leadership, and I've spoken to all the other party leaders in Kenya Kwanza, I find myself in a place where I'm going to learn so much how things are done and how they are done well. We believe that Kenya Kwanza believes in running an accountable government, a government that respects human rights and the rule of law, a government that stands for justice. And us as MDG, as we come in, we will continue insisting, like we've done in our discussions, that nothing will be done out of the legal framework. And so even as the cases are in court uh, today, I mean, uh, we, as David Ching, I was elected in Uganda, I'm going to be sworn in next week. Yesterday we saw 45 governors being sworn in. All these elections were done, were done by the IABC. We cannot pick and choose which results we accept and which ones are wrong. There's only one IABC in the country. This SMIBC did the elections for the, all the other seats, including the presidential one. And so I want to urge the country that we only work best if we believe that the institutions that we've set for us are up to the task. We cannot be saying that all the 45 governors and all the 290 constituency MPs and all the MCA that were elected are good to go. And we saw all the leaders yesterday going for the swearing ins of these leaders. And then one particular election then becomes what will bring the country down. And to beseech Kenyans that this is not the first time we are seeing a, 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 a petition going to Supreme Court for decision. Let's wait for the court's decision. Let's accept it when it comes. But I know that there are so many Kenyans again today who their sense of justice is about having their children going to school without being asked to pay school fees. Whose sense of justice is being able to afford to do an x-ray at a hospital without being asked for money. There are Kenyans today who say their sense of justice is being able to just get by by getting a, a menial job to earn 500 shillings in a day. So our sense of justice cannot be only about one thing, election petitions, no. Our sense of justice must spread all over the country and in all spheres of our lives. And so as we wait for the Supreme Court to make a decision. It's important to remember where we've come, as, come from as a country. And, and that we're just starting to grow our economy from the COVID situation and from the elections. And the peace time that has prevailed since the elections for me tells us that our, our country and our democracy is plateauing. Our democracy is coming to a level where you can't tamper with it. Kenyans will vote and go on with their lives and wait for us who have been elected mm. to serve. And so as I end this, I want to request all of us who have been elected in these just elections, that our job is to serve the country, not to enrich ourselves, not to buy big cars, not to feel good that we are governors or senators or MPs, but to make this election count by ensuring that we meet our end of the bargain, that all that we promised Kenyans, Kenyans are waiting that tomorrow and next week, and uh, Your Excellency, 
these are things that we discuss with you. Mm. Kenyans are waiting to be able to afford unga, mm. able to afford sugar. Mm. Kenyans are waiting that when we go back to school, the children will not be sent back home. Mm. And these are things that matter to every Kenyan, and we hope that under our coalition of Kenya Kwanzaa, we are able to do these things with minimum noise, but making Kenyans feel that they have a government. And we are happy to be here because we are recognized as a party, we are recognized as a people, and we are at the table where decisions are going to be made. The US president uh, elect, wishing you Godspeed. Thank you. And I'm sure that the courts will serve justice. And that, like you've said before, that justice, you'll accept it whether it goes your way or another way. I want to assure you that we'll stand with you here now and into the foreseeable future as we build a firm coalition that brings the country together, not cosmetically, but firmly for the better of the country. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you very much. Uh, Ranguma, you want to say something? You're good. Okay. Uh, Mamatangi, you want to say something? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, while uh, while uh, congratulating and welcoming our brothers, from the MDG party to this coalition that has shown this country that indeed we can achieve what has hitherto in the, in the past seemed unachievable and that is building one country, one nation whereby during elections the question of where you come from or which language you speak, which community that you have lived in ceases to matter and what matters is our national intention to build one country and for all Kenyans to live in a unified nation where, where opportunity is spread equally. And so I want to say welcome to Kenya Kwanzaa. We are the coalition that has opened a new chapter, given this country a new deal, whereby we know that under the leadership of our president-elect, William Samoy Ruto, this country will start to realize the development that should have been in the past many wasted years when there was conflict. And while saying that, I want to urge those that were competing with us on the other side, the Azimio Coalition Group and their leadership, that Kenyans are exhausted and tired. We, we can't continue with this kind of game that has been played over the years. And it is important for us to raise the lead flag, flag on what has now been identified clearly is a premeditated and calculated move every time when we hold elections that IABC is placed as one of the games that will be played by the leadership intending to discredit the, in, the results after Kenyans have expressed their intention. And uh, this started, as uh, has been said earlier here, all the way from the times of Kivuitu. We saw what happened in KCC those days. After that then came the Isaac Hassan uh, Commission. Same story, same script. At the end of the day, when there was intention to discredit and refuse the results, then IBC became the culprit. We have seen it now again this time. I'm wondering, and we in Kenya Kwanzaa are wondering, indeed and urging the police, the first thing they should have done is to take action. We saw somebody in front of cameras punching a Chebukati. Why hasn't this, this, this guy been taken to court as of now? We saw commissioners bleeding, bleeding after being injured. Why hasn't this guy been taken to court? Those are electoral offenses. We saw intentional destruction of property in front of cameras. Why haven't those guys been charged for having uh, broken the laws of this land during the pronouncement of an, an election that was conducted under the eyes an observation of international observers. And what you are saying is, this game is up. We can't continue to buy this script that IBC becomes the bad guy after the results are out and they don't please one side. And then secondly, it is important for us to tell the country that it is time to move on. It is time to move on. People are ready. Kenyans are waiting. They are holding their breath. They want to go to work. They want to get busy. Our children want to learn in an atmosphere where there is no anxiety. Can we have the breath and exhale that we want 
because we did our elections, Kenyans went to the, to, 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 to the polls. They expressed their will. And what we are asking is because our competitors have chosen to go to our courts of law, then wait for the justice you went to seek in the courts. Don't try to influence the results, the minds, the thinking of the judges who will be sitting. We know and we have heard results that have come from the Supreme Court, even many times to the favor of our competitors. They won the last time when they went to the Supreme Court. Why not now? So we are asking you, please be still, don't interfere with the judiciary, let the judiciary make its own decision with the matters that you took to court. And we are certain, we are, we are, we are sure that the same results will be uh, what Kenyans expressed during the elections that they chose one William Samoy Ruto to be the leader of this country, to, to be the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. Let us continue that way, and I want to urge your Kenyans, let's get to work, let's get busy, let's build the nation we want. Thank you very much. You. Olago, one minute. Two. Your Excellency, thank you very much. As you have said, I want to emphasize uh, the agreement signed this morning between MDG and Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition is a lawfully and legally binding instrument which we as a party have been consulting on with Kenya Kwanzaa and which contains clauses of respect between the coalition and our party, equality between the coalition leaders and our party, and in which we share the vision of Kenya Kwanzaa coalition to lead this country forward. We wish to have political tolerance in our country, devoid of violence, devoid of ethnicity. It is important, and that's why we are all here this morning. You actually thank you for welcoming us, and we want to say that as a party, we look forward to working together with Kenya Kwanzaa in running our country in the best way that we can. Thank you very much. On behalf of the ladies, yes, Mary. <laughs> Uh, your Excellency, and uh, declare that you are the SG. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Your Excellency, I am the Secretary General of uh, MDG, and I'm very proud uh, this afternoon, uh, together with my party leader, to bring members of MDG to Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition. Your Excellency, it has not been easy. And I love it when you say that we are coming in as equal partners. We have been treated to very bad scenarios. We've been treated as uh, stepchildren. We've been treated as the outsiders. And I'm very, very proud that today we are coming in a coalition that will treat us with respect, that will treat us with decorum, that will treat us as equal partners. And this afternoon, I'm very happy that MDG has come to the winning coalition, that MDG has come home. I'm very, very proud. And I also want to thank you very much and congratulate you for winning. And I also want to thank you so much for bringing so many women on board as leaders in this country. Thank you very much. The owner of the city, you can conclude for us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Big man buzzing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. Um, allow me to take this opportunity to welcome MDG to Nairobi. Now I can uh, be able to do that. Um, Your Excellency, Honorable David Ocheng, who is the party leader of MDG, is a good friend of mine. And we've been talking. And what he said he means when he talks about mentoring young leadership, in 2013, uh, David and I and a group of other MPs, they used to call us underage MPs, started uh, <laughs> something called Kenya Young Parliamentarians Association, mm, mm. Um, which has grown. He was the Secretary General and I was the Chairman. Um, and through that, we've been able to see many more young leaders coming in from across the country. In fact, by the time we were finishing, we had 1,027 MCAs below 35 elected and 50 MPs. And so David Ocheng is a man who believes in nurturing leadership and I want to tell you my brother you're at home in Kenya Kwanzaa what you stand for what you believe in the things we've debated and discussed over years will find a home here this coalition of Kenya Kwanzaa believes 
in equalization of opportunities mm. for all Kenyans, regardless of tribe, regardless of ethnicity, religion, but equalization of opportunities and pay some for Kony. What this country needs today is economic rejuvenation, which is what you believe in, I've discussed with you, which is what President-elect William Ruto in Kenya Kwanza is offering. So you'll find yourselves at home, feel at home, Karibuni Kenya Kwanza. And I'm grateful I've seen my colleague, city senator, we used to call each other city senators in the Senate because there were only three of us. Um, <laughs> and I knew we'd end up together. Welcome, Senator Uta. Of course, my good friend Olago. We were together in the National Assembly. And, uh, and all the members over here, Karibuni Kenya Kwanza. I think the sentiments that have been shared, I want to associate myself with, that Kenyans have moved on. My people in Nairobi are back in their shops. They are doing their business. Kenyans have been peaceful. It's really unfortunate that over the past now, you know, few days, we've started to see our counterparts in Azimio beginning a narrative of intimidation, trying to threaten the Supreme Court, threatening the IBC, even using violence when you we were at Bomas and after on the IBC. We want to say that Kenyans are beyond the days of intimidation. If intimidation and deep state do not give you the election, it will not give you victory at the Supreme Court. Mm. This election was decided at the polling stations more than 46,000 polling stations. We've seen now an attempt to introduce a boogeyman called a hacker. The election was not decided by any portal. The election was not decided in any computer. Unless you're calling the 7 million plus voters who voted for President-elect William Ruto hackers, then we're all hackers. But that decision was made there, and all that the Supreme Court will need to do is just to count, because Chebukati followed the exact steps that the Supreme Court had issued. So let us leave the Supreme Court to do its work, Let's leave institutions to do their work. The future of this country will be built on strong institutions that are respected. So let us stop the intimidation. Let us stop inciting Kenyans. There is only one person by law who is allowed to declare a president-elect. And the president-elect was declared as William Samoy Ruto. He has been gazetted. When you declare yourself the same, you're trying to incite Kenyans. I'm happy that one of the places that has always been an epicenter of violence, which is Nairobi, is very, very peaceful. And people are happy. Yesterday we saw governors taking oath. I also took oath of office. More than, 40, I, th I think, 45 governors actually took oath of office yesterday. As Honorable Chenga said, it is the same IBC that conducted um, that election. So instead of introducing all these boogeymen, trying to intimidate, and we know the good judges in the Supreme Court are people of outstanding integrity, we know that this country has what we call the rule of law. And the rule of law stands above the rule of man and the rule of intimidation. So please whether it is the interior, people at the interior, and the politicians, let us stop inciting. Let us stop saying that by elections, or rather the suspended elections, must be, you know, uh, run by a certain individual. You cannot choose a referee and then choose the coach. Kenyans have decided and Kenyans will decide. So, Your Excellency, we are looking forward to the 5th of September when the Supreme Court will issue its, uh, its verdict and we will abide by the law. Let Kenyans remain peaceful and MDG Karibuni Sana. Kenya Kwanza Coalition, and I'm sure I have the permission of our party leader to say, is a coalition whose doors are open. We want to work with people from across the length and breadth of this country. Our doors are open and Karibuni Sana. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you very much, uh, the governor of the great city of Nairobi. Uh, where, where are the... Oh, bring them, bring them here. We can, I think we can remove this. Yeah, I'm not okay.